Hi everyone, this is Fred from 4x4 Shop. Today we install our 10.25 inch Android screen in a 2015 Audi Q5. It came with non MMI uh, screen, that's where we put the camera. Basically, it replaced the trunk handle uh, mount, and the camera is uh, built into the trunk handle. going to explain uh, all the features and uh, the screen that we put in the car. So basically uh, this is an Audi Q5 that it comes with non-MMI uh, internal command center as you can see there is no MMI here the MMI is right on the uh, console uh, used to have this uh, 7 inch screen installed in a car so we remove this screen also we remove uh, this bracket that the hazard light is there too and as I show you before uh, that's the camera trunk handle that we took it out and we install our camera and also here uh, here it used to be a vent uh, basically useless vent so we took it out and uh, we installed this controller which it comes with a knob to control the unit with a back button and navi uh, button okay so right now this is the look of the unit as you can see it's a uh, 10.25 inch screen uh, it comes with the bracket you see it's a fully uh, flash mount to the dash without any gap the hazard light uh, it, we basically we re relocated the mounting as you can check it on our website you can see the mounting comes with the hazard light it's all plug and play no need to do any modification uh, so I just go to the uh, main menu so this is the aftermarket menu you still can use the uh, factory internal MMI uh, by moving the knob uh, you can change all this feature you can go back to the original Audi menu I'm going back to the original uh, MMI Again, as you can see, everything is same as uh, factory. Nothing is changed. You can still use all the uh, knobs on uh, internal MMI. All these knobs, uh, FM, AM, satellite radio, media, or phone. Everything works same as the way that it used to work. Uh, just by touching the screen, you go to the aftermarket menu. That that's the look of the aftermarket menu. Uh, it gives you some cool features that we're gonna go through it together uh, right now I want to show you the reverse camera which is the most uh, safety uh, feature that uh, most of these Audis unfortunately they're missing this backup camera by going to reverse it shifts to backup camera it comes with dynamic parking guidelines and the PDC and if the car comes with the factory uh, backup sensor or front sensors it retains them too this car doesn't come with them so as you can see when I turn the steering wheel uh, by turning the steering wheel the dynamic parking guideline turns to uh, and gives you the uh, right direction and you can see the age of the bumper perfectly fine too by going back to park it goes back to, uh, to the factory uh, MMI. Uh, as I said again by touching the screen it goes uh, to the aftermarket mode uh, you can go back to uh, original by clicking on that uh, Audi logo all I'm controlling right now I'm controlling it by this knob here so by turning this knob all these uh, uh, UI the menu for the UI is changed and also by tabbing on the knob I can uh, uh, choose whatever app I want to use ok 
Okay, so right now I'm showing you uh, this is the application. Uh, basically, by clicking on that, it gives you uh, all the uh, nice applications like uh, Google Maps. You can use Google Maps. Uh, you can download Waze or any other apps you like. It comes with the offline map for US and Canada uh, that we already installed it on, uh, on the same unit. It's on the second page. It's right here. We install iGo for Android. You can mirror link your phone to the same screen uh, through the USB. We run one USB in the glove box, which is right here. Uh, you can play media, you can play uh, uh, basically uh, videos or songs. And this is the uh, AMI. Uh, uh, media player in Audi. Usually it comes with uh, this uh, iPhone connection which is really like old type of iPhone connection. To be able to have the sound through our aftermarket you need to change that AMI to the one that it activates the uh, auxiliary in the car uh, which is this uh, mini jack look auxiliary and you don't need to connect anything to it you can just leave it inside the glove box. Uh, you can go to Play Store as I said download any other apps you like and uh, you can uh, basically scroll left right and uh, choose any apps that you like to use uh, the other cool feature on this unit is uh, OBD reader uh, basically it reads the uh, RPM it shows if the handbrake is on or not Right now I'm doing the handbrake, so handbrake, uh, it goes uh, red, which shows the handbrake is pulled up. Right now it's released, seat belt is not done, temperature outside, and it shows the speed. Also, if the door of the car is open, it shows the door is open, closed, and if the lights, the headlights are on, it shows the uh, headlights are on too. Um, also at the bottom it shows what radio channel right now is playing. Uh, by adding that auxiliary, uh, basically you can use uh, two different type of Bluetooth. One is your uh, original Bluetooth from Audi or you can use the uh, aftermarket Bluetooth. Uh, when you do the aftermarket Bluetooth by going to media, uh, you can have the sound through the speakers of the car. So right now I'm uh, playing Spotify from my phone wirelessly. I'm playing Linkin Park. Uh, right now we have the sound through the auxiliary. If I go back to the factory uh, menu, you will see that I'm on uh, I'm on media and I'm on auxiliary. That's how I can have the Bluetooth music streaming. Yeah, so th these are the uh, basically the options that you get with this aftermarket unit. Uh, right now I'm connected to the Wi-Fi too. We are connected to the Wi-Fi in the office, but you can do a uh, hotspot from your phone to the same screen. Also, it reads some, uh, again, OBD information, the kilometers on your car, temperature, and also it shows the speed of the car. It shows the date and the time is there. Uh, basically that's that's all you need to know about this unit it's it's a great feature it's a great look to your uh, Audi you can order them online from 4x4shop.ca or you can give us a call if you have any uh, questions uh, we do support uh, basically like Eastern time from uh, 10 to 5 if during installation if you're installer or yourself you have any questions we can help you uh, basically these are the uh, uh, differences between our unit and our company and other companies uh, it's all about technical support and after sales support uh, so feel free to give us a call we are here to help uh, thank you and have a great day also I forgot to show you the uh, Another cool feature in this unit, which is a USB that we put in the glove box. You can play songs and also videos through that USB.
and it's full screen. 